Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. Line PBA and PDC are the two secants. AD is the diameter of the circle with center at point O. Angle A is 40 degrees and angle P is 20 degrees. Find the measure of angle DBC, which is this small angle. So we need to find out the value of this small angle. So let us start with the triangle which has the most information which is APD. Now in this triangle we can see that the value of angle A is given and the value of angle P is given. So using the angle sum property of the triangle we can find out the value of angle D. So we can write over here angle A plus angle P plus angle D equal to 180 degrees. Now angle A the value is 40 and angle P the value is 20. So let us find out the value of angle D equal to 180 degrees. So we have angle D is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 and minus 20. So that gives us a value of 120 degrees. So we got the value here for angle D as 120. Now in the question they have mentioned that PDC is a secant. So secant is a line which enters the circle and touches the circle at two points. So here in this case we can see that for the PDC which is a secant it enters the circle and touches the circle at two points that is point D and point C. And since secant is a straight line, we can find out the value of angle ADC. Because the total angle is 180 degrees for the straight line, so we have found out angle ADP 120. So here the remaining angle is going to be 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So that is going to give us a value of 60. So let us write over here, ADC is 60 degrees because of the straight line PDC. Now once we have got this, let us try to find out the angle ABC. So to find it, we have to use a circle theorem which is given as angles in the same segment theorem. It states that angles in the same segment are equal. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there are two points on it which is A and B. So these two points divide the circle into two segments. One is the big part which we call it as the major segment and the other one is the small part which we call it as a minor segment. So if these two points make an angle for example in the major segment at some points this way so they can make n number of angles so I have made only three angles at this point this point and this point and you can see all the three are in the major segment so here if this angle is taken as 30 degrees then the remaining angles also become 30 degrees So if you have been watching my videos on circle theorems, you can see that some of the theorems I have repeated again. So you can totally skip the part if you know which theorem to be used. Anyways, here since all the angles are in the major segment, we can see that all the angles are same. That is all the angles are equal. So this is what we call it as the angles in the same segment theorem. So let us use this theorem to solve the given example above. Now let us consider the points A and C. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments that is one is the big one that is the major segment and one is the small one which is the minor segment. And here we can see that these two points make an angle at point B in the major segment and the same two points make an angle at point D which means we can use the angle in the same segment theorem 
and since here we have angle D as 60 degrees here we get angle B also as 60 degrees but the question is we need to find out angle DBC which is this angle now to ultimately find out this angle we are going to use another theorem which is given as angle in a semicircle theorem the theorem states that angle made by a diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees so you can see that I have drawn a circle and it's a diameter AB which passes through the center of the circle O now if these two points of the diameter make an angle in the semicircle this way or they can make an angle anywhere in the semicircle no matter at which point they make an angle the angle in the semicircle is always going to be 90 degrees so this is also called as Thiel's theorem so here we are going to see it as angle in the semicircle so using this theorem let us see how we can solve the above example so here we can see that AOD is the diameter of the circle and it makes an angle at point B which means the total angle at point B is 90 degrees but a part of that 90 degree is 60 degree that is angle ABC so to find out this small angle we are going to just subtract the 60 degrees from 90 degrees so this small angle is given as 90 degrees minus 60 so that gives us an angle of 30 degrees so we have got the value of angle DBC as 30 degrees by using circle theorems. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example then please comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.